y'all are probably wondering why y'all here. This was Bray's sanctuary. His home. Oh, we had some good times here. <laughs> and I couldn't think of a more fitting place to carry out his final wish. Y'all were most precious to him. And y'all gave him so much. And he wanted to make sure that each of you have a little bit of him. Originally, Bray's instructions was not to give you one of these. But he was just playing around. <laughs> Electra. Electra fights every day to get what's hers. And maybe that looks like a selfish act. But the truth is, every time Electra gets herself something, she shows all of us, the world, how much we are capable of, how much we deserve. He actually wrote down a little something about all of you. I guess it was back when he was sure that he didn't have too long left. Lulu. He said, you got a real strength in you, girl. And then sometimes when he was feeling like he couldn't fight no more, he would think of you and how you never took any shit off no one. And that made him laugh <laughs> and it would get him through the night. And Judy, <laughs> he said you actually made him believe in the goodness of white people. <laughs> <laughs> and Angel and Bobby, he never thought that's so close to home in our neighborhood and our community. He would ever see the kind of romance and love that he saw in the movies. <laughs> Real, true love. And in these darkest times, your love gave him hope for the future. And to the great council, <laughs> Manhattan, Castle, and Jack, he said, fellas, we held our crazy world together the tribal chiefs, the four pillars of the ballroom. Whatever legacy I leave behind, I owe it to your friendship and your commitment to the magic of the balls. <laughs> and Ricky, to you he wrote, I was never old. I was never sick with you. I didn't have to be MC on a stage or a father. In the best moments we shared, there was no performance. I was just me. What did Bray say to you, Ma? Nothing. There was nothing ever left unsaid between us. 